Well, if that is the case... Alright, that's the one thing I forgot to do for this session, the recap. That's fine, I can improvise. The Talaria are currently residing in the Druid Camp of Rephram. Tying up some loose ends before they begin their journey back out of the Morog and through to Port Honor. During your time, you have met with the Inner Circle of Rephram, who provided information regarding Fur and Aki's... I suppose predicament is the easiest word for it. It was discussed that Aki has what is called a Dragon Mark, an innate ability that is in many of the races of Kimura, but rarely manifest. Upon querying in regards to the visions, and at the mention that the visions came to him in dreams, the theory was sprung by one of the members of the Inner Circle, Zantia, stating that potentially it might be a case of Aki simply not recalling fully the visions that occur, and suggested making use of something called a Ritual of Recall, which, as the name suggests, would allow them to recall a period in their past. However, with the particular nature of of Aki's visions, they believe that the ritual wouldn't have a guaranteed chance of success, barring a certain item. An eye from a creature that whose vision is more enhanced than the norm. They'd advise going to the Crooks clan, who are in the southwestern area of the Cobbles, to see if any of the creatures that live within the mountains there may hold this unique vision. In addition, they also asked to borrow fur for two more days, just to see in that limited time if they can ascertain any further information about the soulbound properties that she has. So making it clear that with such little time, they wouldn't really be able to get an answer. More, if anything, it was to get theories. So, at first agreement, you left her with the inner circle. You spent the day preparing for your journey to Port Honor, alongside any other loose ends. And afterwards, a conversation between Mevelair and Havelock occurred, resulting in them... Losing a few pounds of hair. And that is where we left off. So, I assume that none of you do anything for the rest of the night, or is there anything anyone wants to do during that night time, or would you rather we move over to the next day? Um, I think I am okay. I got the thing that I wanted done. Mm-hmm. What are you all doing? In the grand scheme of things, Going at this moment. This moment. I'm thinking. Nothing for now? Okie dokie. This would be a great time for any conversations that you guys want to have. I'm just thinking. I'm... Uh, mm. I'm okay, I think. Okie dokie. If that is the case, then you all... Go to sleep for the essentially penultimate day, and your sleep is uninterrupted. Eventually, you wake up on the next morning. So you all, you all, um, you know, set out your various oh. cottages. Um, Who's Kurt? gonna point it out first? <laughs> this... Point out what? Yeah. The fact that 
Havelock and Mev are both missing a lot of hair. Havelock will be coming out of the room uh, late today. I'm rolling to try and find my fucking reference. Alright. Well, Mev will come out. I couldn't hear Anna over Peach's rustling. She's going to be a couple minutes. Havelock hasn't come out yet. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Aki is coming out of his cottage coming out of his cottage as well, uh, dressed and doing a big old stretch. And glances over, sees Mevelez much less heavy looking head. And It looks uh certainly like a fluffier mane. Seems Wait. like all that weight puffed up her hair a little bit. Wait, so what what did she do to her hair exactly? Her hair, um... I think there's a picture of it in the squared box of what her hair looks yeah, like Yeah, if you just scroll up a little uh, bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Just imagine that with a little bit more puff. Bedhead, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, Aki sort of just like does like a double take and goes, "I, I thought you were going to wait until Portana to do that." Hmm. Uh, oh. What you? Yes, what you've done with your? Yes, what you've done with your hair? It's, it, it's, it's, it's great. But I thought you were waiting. Mev um, smooths out her hair a little bit, just. It seems like it's a little bit more manageable now that it's not so fucking massive and it smooths out fairly quickly, as much as it can, because Mev's hair is fairly coily. Um, yeah, buddy, I've got an echo. Not to me. Yeah. Um, is it just me? Might just be I you. think it might be you. Oh, fuck, I thought it was you. Sorry. But, um,. She smooths out her hair, and she, um, she takes a lock of it and looks at it. I decided, um, it would be a better bonding activity than just getting it done somewhere else. Something with whom? You'll see. She smiles. Will I rue the day I grew eyes? No, I don't think so. I don't think I did that bad a job. She pouts. I know I'm a little clumsy, but come on. Right. Now, I bet not see Kindling looking like a looking like a six-foot pale goblin. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about that. Uh, do you like it, at least? I think it looks lovely, yes. Thank you. I think that uh, your hair is growing out quite nicely, too. Yeah, um, hold on. What would Aki's hair look like at this point? Um... Honestly, I imagine it kind of looks like a mullet right now. Yeah, I was thinking like shaggy mullet, you know? <laughs> Yeah, we're talking like full of business in the front party in the back mullet. <laughs> um... Yeah, exactly, tea party in the back. Um... He's got it tied up in like a little ponytail. Yeah. And like as yes, I, Aki says, I'm. I suppose this this is it then, isn't it? You've you've upheld your end of the bargain. This means that's nary any, nary a blade shall touch my hair then. Until that's I... right. What's Aki's expression at that realization? Um, a bit of sort of. Hmm. What's the word? <laughs> Not 
Wait, what does what what does indignation mean? What does indignation mean? Yeah. Uh, indignation. It's like indignant. Oh, it. It's yeah, anger. Yeah. Anger or annoyance provoked at what is perceived as unfair treatment. Um. It's wait, not oh, yeah. indignant. That's, that's not a good word. Umbrage. I like I like I like the word umbrage. Um. Yeah. Aki just looks a bit sort of <sighs> perturbed and go and, and you know he 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 just looks at like ah. Oh, Shit, I've actually got to uphold my end of it now. Shit, okay. <laughs> I could have gotten one last cut in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I look, I, I look, I look ridiculous. Yeah. Um. Uh, yes, but so, yeah. so, I, so I kind of just said, just, just quickly. Um. He's he's been using like a like just like a like a small like length of rope from like from his bag, they 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 they, 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 they cut off to use as a hairband, and so he quickly just like. Ties up his own hair, ties it in sort of ties it ties it in ties it in a ponytail, in quite like a sh in, sh in a short ponytail. Um, Kindling walks out and Mev immediately turns to him, gives him a big old smile. Hello. Hmm. She grins some more. Mm, I got that cut, and she plays with a curl. Do you like it? This is a test. If you say no, Meth will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, insight on the it looks nice because you paused. Yeah, I'm gonna insight that as well. Oh, that's right. We get, we we don't. I'm not exhausted anymore. That's nice. Mhm. Mm Seems to be vague on purpose. Does Aki get more information, or is that it? Yeah, just a nineteen bump up that knowledge. Eight eight insight as well. Fucking hell. <laughs> you should see my thirteen insight on Shala. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, oh. druids and clerics. I because I, because to be, to be fair, I knew that I'd be the the leader slash babysitter of the of these maniacs. So I was like, okay, yeah. I need I need to be proficient in insight to to catch them out in their bullshit. How's that working for Hav? <laughs> what his bullshit? Oh, fucking let's, yeah. Let's not forget. It's like, did you did you kill anybody? No. <laughs> yeah. All the way back in tow. Did yeah. you rob that store? No. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm convinced. Did you, did you do something to that to, to those people that they'd wish for death? No. <laughs> Technically, we can't answer that one. Who yeah, knows? That is, that is subjective. I I can't make up their mind for them. I can't. I can't decide whether their life is worth living. <laughs> I'm not God. <laughs> well, just wait a few more levels. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. so vague, um, ah, lovely, lovely. Okay. Um, yeah, Mev looks pleased but mischievous. Yeah. Well, if it wasn't you and it wasn't Aki, maybe Curs cut it for me. She grins. Or, and Aki kind of cracks a, a, 
a, a, a slight mischievous smile and says, Or it was Mother Murg in the night with her longest, sharpest knife. Not funny. You did not see that woman like I did. Uh, I'm, I'm, excuse me, Mother Murg, um, who had one of those nails inserted into their very, into their very flesh yesterday? While you were sleeping. Exactly, yeah, but I, I... Mev crosses her arms at you. She... It's, diff it, it's different. She invaded... You saw her. She physically invaded my very being. It's different. Um... I guess just perception. Yeah, I would say perception, yeah. I feel like Aki will just be able just to tell. Oh, we're 23 <sighs> passive? Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh shit, I guess he has less hair than yesterday. Fucking Havelock, make a dex check. So that we can decide. What? Uh, make a dex I check? I thought we weren't gonna do that. Well, they're inspecting how how well it was done, so now we yeah. need one. Uh, wow. Oh, boy. Wow, Kinley. <laughs> well, Aki can tell. Uh, while this is happening, uh, Mev, you hear Valkyrie in your head. You know, I'm feeling a bit insulted that they're not saying it might have been me. Yeah, Mev just starts laughing as she covers her mouth. Dexterity 5. Okay, so it's not very good. In case anyone asks, I will do Mev as well. Twinsies. The same. Twinsies in quality. Yay. Fantastic. Minus um, two dexterity. So yeah, there's definitely, um, Kinling can't tell, but Aki can tell that it was not professionally done. There are some strips that are shorter than others, but luckily because Mev's hair is already such a lion's mane. Yeah. With her at the very least, it's not particularly noticeable. Mm -hmm. Unless you can actually see into the fucking, like, core of the earth like Aki. That is true. I mean, Aki would probably be able to tell if you had nits from, like, seven paces. Yeah. But Mev right now seems to be laughing at nothing. Yeah. Um, Aki, Aki kind of pulls a funny face to her and then sort of... And then that funny face turns into, like, a knowing smile. And that he sort of... He, he's put one and one together that maybe... Maybe... The all... Maybe, you know, the... The man with a future in stand-up comedy, Valkyr, may have cracked it <laughs> Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, hold, hold on, so... This was... This was Havelock's handiwork. It does seem to be... Yeah. You know... Uh, process of elimination, list of conclusions... But maybe you're right. Maybe it was that creepy Mother Merg. Perhaps. Although, speaking of the devil... The devil from, from the, the Bible. Bible. Um, Havelock leaves his little hut thing. Yeah. Quite white shorter hair and this lovely dress on that you can find in the squared box for reference huh um I guess we maybe haven't seen Havelock in this dress before never wait so is he wearing it or just like holding it he is wearing it yeah, Mev sees Havelock and immediately stops laughing. It looks like she actually looks a little pale. Can I roll in? Can I please? Pretty, pretty please, since I do think it might be my birthday coming up next. Could <laughs> I roll... When, first of all, Peach, when's my birthday? Uh, April 13th. Correct, good. 
That's just for, that that that's just for the fan wiki. Um, <laughs> um, could I roll insight on uh, Mev suddenly going sallow? Uh, yeah. Grand. Like, I want to maybe see if I can. No, not 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 my fandom. Just like the Kamora campaign fandom. <laughs> I mean, I would like my own Wikipedia channel as well. Just every little facet of my life that would be fun um, be creepy. terrifying but yeah uh <laughs> three two one roll 15 why are you so um, sad mev has a look of kind of shock horror and y you know from your time with mev that when a catastrophe is occurring with someone else her face kind of scrunches in a way that you can tell she's trying to figure out how to pull the situation into someone's favor <laughs> she's essentially Havelock came out in a hole and she's trying to figure out oh god what do I do to pull him out Oh boy, okay. Um Aki kind of just like glance like just like glance into me into Mem's eyes, flicks back to Havelock and, and says Where in all the planes did you get that? What the haircut? I got it last night. Isn't it lovely? Uh, yes, that goes without saying, but I meant the you look people... great. Uh, yes, you do. Uh, it, it's the whole sartorial uh, uh, confluence of it. It, come, it forms together very nicely, yes. Mev looks at Yuaki with this tense smile. That's her shut the fuck up face. Aki and, and, Aki and Aki, Aki flicks a, another look back at Mev in, yeah, and just... Yeah, Mev will go up to Havelock. I love it. You look absolutely wonderful. Oh, thank you, Mev. You're so sweet. And scarily enough, Havelock has a matching smile staring right at you, Aki. <laughs> um, Tom? Yes? What could I, what could I do to sneakily cast a spell? Slight of hand, probably. Okay, because I want uh, I want to cast detect magic. Havelock is That's clearly good. trying a new look. I want to cast. Doesn't he look good? He, yes, he does. Fabulous, even. And yeah, Aki Aki does like does like flasher. He's trying to hold it back, but he does. Uh, he, Meb would Meb would know him well enough. He 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 does like flash a look of like subdued panic her way. <laughs> yeah. Of like of, <laughs> of, of 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 if you want to read more into it, just what the fuck is going on exactly? Yeah. Mev um actually gives a similar look to Havelock, and Havelock, you feel the familiar tether of Mev's mind and tears. What do you want me to say? Do whatever it is you want. I have luck, you know that's not the question I'm asking. Uh, you can barely try to, Ed. I'm not asking... What do I do? I'm asking, what do you want from this situation? You kind of ambushed me. Well, it's a big question. We'll get to that point. For now, carry on as normal. Do you want me to tell them the truth? Or do you want me to say it's none of my business? It's none 
none of their business currently. Okay. Question subject change. I just needed to know. You kind of sprung this up literally right now. Yeah, so when we did have that lovely talk last night, you know what? Fuck it. Let's be truthful. Havelock. What? I don't know exactly what I said to piss you off, but you spilling out your, you know, super important secrets that are kind of important to your mental health is not the way to get back at me. Never there, you did not piss me off. Then what is this? After the little talk that we had last night? You trying to prove something? Because that doesn't seem like someone with a healthy disposition who isn't upset does. I am not upset. Trust me. I'm not upset. <laughs> That's my yelling we have going on here. I'm not fucking upset! Insight. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Honestly, because he yelled at me, I should get advantage. Seriously? Yep. I think so. Uh, no. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm still insiding. Ooh. Oh my god, the rolls today! No one get into a combat. <laughs> I, loud. I really don't think that's fair. You screamed at Mev. Would you like me to roll again for disadvantage? I would say disadvantage at the very least if I don't get advantage because Havelock cracked. Ooh. He sounds slightly unhinged, mm -hmm. but not completely mad. You've seen him crazier. So... Is Havelock also doing this to get back at Mev? No. Nope. Would I be able to tell that? Okay. You yeah, don't feel Mev. maliciousness, you feel that he is just slightly mentally unhinged. Yep, okay. Mev shakes her head at him. Havelock, clearly. <sighs> you are trying something different, and this is a sensitive point. Do not jump the gun just because you're panicking. Okay? Havelock just, uh, pulls Mev into a hug. Squish. Little squish. Is this violent, or is this nice? Uh, slightly violent. It's a five strength. We're not doing too much damage. Oh my to God. everyone else, it'll look nice. Maybe not often. Yeah. To Kindling, it'll look nice. Mev... <sighs> definitely doesn't know how to take that, because she's not in pain, but it's kind of clear whatever the fuck is happening with Havelock is not great. Listen, I'm very proud of you. Just... If you aren't ready... Let's not freak out. Well, I'm trying. And this is a good step. Are you going to put on your dress? We did buy matching ones, remember? Mev's face. <laughs> She gives this look of irritance, and Havelock just hears in his head, You fucking bitch. Um, you don't have to wear it. No, no, it's fine. I will do it to show my support. It's not like I don't want to, but I wasn't expecting this circumstance. 
and... Now we get to wear dresses in the jungle. But... I'm not wearing this when we get out. I'm wearing it today, and that's it. Well, you'll be seeing me in this dress more often. Maybe Please I'll do I'll not wear. wear a dress in the jungle. Havelock just chuckles and lets her go. Oh my god. Yeah, Nev shakes her head and goes back to her cabin. Uh, Aki, what were you trying to detect with detect magic? Well, I was trying to detect magic to see if there's anything magical about the dress, just in case, because I've no, I, Aki's never seen it before, and then suddenly, like, you know, he knows things like, you know, the magic connection that Havelock has anyway, and so he's just double checking to make, he's just double checking to make sure there's no funny things going on. Yeah, no. It's a nice dress. But nice dress. Um, not magical in the sense of detect magic. Okay. Anna. Hi, hi. Is the dress the same color? Did we get the same color? Is it opposite colors? Um, I went with the reddish orange one. I think you went with like the bluish nighttime one. Mm hmm. Okay. Same dress, just different color schemes, opposite. Yes, Quinlan. Oh my god! No! No, it's not! I hope Havelock takes sidekick damage from that, because that implies that it is Mevalier based. <laughs> what do I roll to see how much psychic damage he just took? Fucking, I, I don't know, like a d6. Oh. Mevalier based, Mevalier themed. <laughs> no, it's not made out of Mevelaire's hair. Uh, while you're waiting for the Mevelaire to come back, because it does sort of uh, come out of uh, as hot. You actually notice around his neck, alongside the uh, the chain that's uh, been around his neck the entire time, is a fur's bag. He just so like walks up to everyone, just sits down. It's like, is anyone here good with doors? Um. I could try kicking one in. No, no. Just... I can blast it open. N no, no. It's just uh, to like tilt his head back towards uh, the open door. So fur's hot. Can you not shut or open doors? He sort of slowly raises his, his front paw with the non opposable thumbs and such. Yeah, but you got like claws and beans, so you could just like hook it to the door and open and shut it. Come on, if you just close the damn door and lock it. Yes, 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 of course. I mean, Aki will go over to um, we'll go over to the door. Has he got a key? Aki, Aki, this is a very important skill for him to learn. Yes, uh, perhaps some other skills could also be. He should learn how to burrow like a mole, and 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 dance uh, and and dance uh, Zamahani and waltz while he's at it. 
if he if he needs help and clearly clearly his his body isn't made for such things then it, it what what would be the point in frustrating the poor man and i could go and close the door uh can they beat you to it kindling you piece of poo um, as you go to close the door, you actually notice the inside part of it, near the handle, you can see various claw and teeth marks of clearly previous times Curse tried to close the door. Eventually, uh, yeah. Um, Mev comes out a little bit more done up since she's wearing such a nice dress, and she uh, comes out, brushes her hair behind her ears. Well, what's the difference in color between the two dresses? Um, one is very clearly like. Sunset Dusk based, like Halflocks is, while Mev's is kind of um, like the night sky. Which, it's funny, it looks a little awkward on the both of them because it seems like they should be opposite. Hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. I've. Aki kind of like looks over and is like for a second lost for words and then just says you look sublime Mabla truly sorry I'm finishing my bagel um what's on it is it everything bagel cream cheese Everything. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mev, um, smiles at Aki. Why, thank you. I have luck requested that I, um, wear mine. And she does kind of like a little mock curtsy. Um... <laughs> Aki, kind of, Aki, Aki does look a little bit disapprovingly at seeing your sort of a bit your I'm guessing is it either like like this like do you do it like, like like super exaggerated like deep one or is it just like a bit of an awkward one it's just a, a slight awkward one her hands like lay out the dress and she just bows her knees a little bit she's not very good at it <laughs> but Aki... she's looking straight at you Knowing that it would upset you. Like he, it, 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 honestly, even, even though he's not the, even though he's not that like that like snooty and it, it, it's crazy crazy snooty, it, he he does have a little twinge of like mm, that's not right. Uh, it, you 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 do see a little look of like, I don't know if it's like yeah of, of almost like disappointment in the, like a, like a little flash of it, and he just goes like um, and he, and he kind of goes the. The boys might, might, might I think it just, uh, the boys might, might, might need some work, but I trust you would turn dozens upon dozens of heads at any, at, at any society ball back home. Oh, I always do. She stands up straight, smooths out the dress, um, and her eyes set upon Kindling and Havelock. Well... And I'm guessing because I think detect magic lasts for ten for ten minutes. Yep. I'm guessing the, the this dress ain't magic either. Nope. Nope. Just checking. Um. While I finish my bagel, insight on Kinling's expression. Is he worried?
Uh, is he is he asking that out of like concern or worry? Okay. Um, Mev smirks at Kindling. I could certainly fight you in this dress. Could fight you in a ball gown or naked or with my legs tied. She grins. Listen, Mevalair, love the spirit, but remember we don't fight naked. Sometimes you might have to. Someone might ambush you when you're sleeping. That's Indeed. why you don't sleep naked. Mev just gives a knowing smile. Have luck, Wink. So, uh, uh, to be fair, at hearing, uh, uh, hearing um, Havelock say that's why we don't sleep naked, Aki does look a little bit disheartened. <laughs> Yeah, Mev, uh, Mev with, with her grin, um, says, so yes, I can fight in it. The skirt is very loose, and she again splays it out just to kind of show, like, the room that she has. Now, would I want to go traversing in the jungle in it? No, my legs should be covered, otherwise I'm going to get stabbed. Um, but if necessary, yeah, I can definitely do this. If you want me to prove it, I could certainly kick your ass again, Kinling. Well, no, to make it a fair fight, wouldn't we have to get, wouldn't we also have to get Kindling a ball gown? I'm sure we could get one here. <laughs> A ball gown? I don't think so. Um, Not a ball gown, but a dress. I mean, these aren't ball gowns, technically. <laughs> you know, you know, you know what I mean when you can sort of like tie a dress into yeah. like into so you have way more mobility. Yeah. Yep. Um. Mev smiles at Kinling. Technically, you could just do a pants, list and it would kind of be the same effect, but I guess I have some extra skirts. No, wait, you're like... What? At least 20 pounds heavier than me, and about the head taller. Kindling always in a skirt. Well, if he's already wearing a skirt, it doesn't matter. See, that's the point. What is, what is like, Kinley's day-to-day wear? Like, what is... He doesn't wear a tunic, does he? See, I would have thought that he wore the team uniform consistently through the jungles, because, again... You're gonna get stabbed by, like, the plants and everything. Yeah. So you would've needed to cover up more. So we're not talking- okay. Just remind, remind me again, what, what was our team uniform again? It was- it was green, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just a standard adventuring thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's wearing a skirt right now. Then yeah. It would be equal. Yeah, it's like a killed, I believe. Mm, dresses have skirts, though. She gestures to her dress. I have a top that's fairly normal. The only thing that's different is the skirt. Mm, and I guess these things. And she holds out her arm with the sleeve. 
It, those sleeves are a fucking hazard. You could just grab on them. Then again, she had really long hair before and seemed to do well. Come on, Kinling. She rolls her shoulders. It really doesn't matter what you wear, because you know I'm going to beat you. So you admit that. Three, but we can make it four. Okay. Take your time. You know I'm always ready for a duel. She <laughs> is inspecting her nails. Isn't that quite growing? Um, no. Mev is pretty good on hygiene. She would have cleaned them. Fair enough. They might be a little longer than usual. Usually, Mev's nails are pretty short because you know she's a fighter. Yeah. But. All right. <sighs> so, we don't have a lot to do today, but what we do have to do is pretty important. Indeed. I, I imagine what you're referring to is confronting the fellow at the general store. The, uh... Alchemist, I suppose. Oh, apologies, yes. Um, yes, the alchemist, yes. Um, fellow with the tattoo, yes. Um, do we have any ideas as to what the... of what the... of what the hell we're going to do? Well, first, we're going to get the troll's blood potions back from him before we piss him off. Of course. We... <sighs> Mev leans back, thinking about it. Right. We should get our stuff first and pay, and then... I mean, probably what I would do is just be up front. We've seen this before, we have experience with Alara. Indeed, but don't forget that... I think I, I, I think I remember it was Talos or someone who told us that he came here fleeing something. He came here to escape. Now, if... That's why we don't tell him what kind of experience. You leave a portion out, they'll fill in the gaps themselves. Depending on what gaps he fills, we know which direction to, you know, press him on. My only concern is that any amount of pressure as to his true origins, he mm -hmm. may be fleeing from the wrath of, of Alara, so we must... His first thought would be, if we start prying into his life, that Alara finally found out where he was and sent assassins to liquidate him yes Aki she smiles 
that's the point. Because we can work with that. But usually, when someone's first thought is anger and preserving their life, they probably aren't going to use rational thought against the people who possibly would maybe there to kill them. We can subdue him humanely if he reacts in such a negative fashion. But if he thinks we're there to kill him, we have two options. We can either try to reaffirm that and intimidate him, or we can instill a sense of trust of, oh no, we took that person out, you know? We just want to have more information on what we possibly could be dealing with. Don't you want to take them down? And this is obviously implying if he has a negative history. All right. Um... Come on. You know me. I can work with any situation. Yes, even hurtling towards the sun. Um, <laughs> um yeah, Aki does say yes. Um, hello. Hmm. Oh, I heard like a squeaky noise. Um, that. Um. Yeah, Aki says that. Uh, I think that if the game is to dissuade him from seeing us as, as enemies and just calming and calming his mind away from rage if, and away from rage and fear, you may have to be. You may have to lead our actions on this, Megala. You seem to be the most gregarious, agreeable, um, persuasive. Nev. Nons. Don't worry. I've got it. Aki, doesn't your family's entire thing do business? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Indeed. Yes. Your point being? So why aren't you taking the lead with our business? Last time I checked, I'm not dealing with with a tr with, with, with with a trading confederation or a or a or some sort or, or some sort of workers guild dispute it's it's a man potentially hiding in the farthest reaches of the world against people against people who know who, exactly who he is and in walks people who know that as well i would yeah, rather I could probably close a business deal too Meh. <laughs> you do see yeah, you, you do see Aki think thing. You do see Aki think for a moment and go, Hmm. Have you ever thought of going corporate, Miller? <laughs> well, we will need funding. She smiles at Aki. Um, yes, the, the company is always in need of in need of negotiators and and people to spread the good word of the trading company. But regardless. Um, so yes, I think, perhaps if we, this is a risk, I, I understand, but perhaps if we proceed unarmed, show him that whatever outcome may be, it will not lead to drawn blades, at least on our end. Or perchance there may be a risk too great. If it all goes if it all goes terribly wrong, he may lunge for ours and we'll be stuck. And we'll be stuck with ours far with, with ours out of hand's reach. Listen. Listening. The only thing that you guys need to do is not kill him. If he attacks us and snaps. We can subdue him humanely. If we kill him, that causes trouble, and we can't really explain ourselves with a dead body here. We want to keep him alive in order to kind of plead self-defense. All right. All right, I just... 
I would rather not give bloodshed of a party gift, essentially. That's why we're going to try and avoid it. Good. Good. Just, I am ensuring that... I'm trying to ensure that any eventuality leads the fewest amount lead to that. And making it clear that we mean him no harm, nor wish for his... nor wish for his... for his countenance to leave... to leave the material plane, then... Uh, Aki, can I give you some material. advice? <laughs> Go ahead, Hadlock. Hadlock's oh, looking God. mighty annoyed at this point, arms crossed, foot tapping. Drop the big fancy words. Say what you fucking mean. Fine, um... Improve your skills. Let's go. Mev looks to have luck. Aki's working on it. He just, you know... It's good to ask for help when you know you need it. It is, but big fancy words make people who think they're gonna die worse. Mev... You can, you at the very least, Aki, can see that she is biting her tongue on something. Um, she smiles at Havelock. I think Aki is doing just fine. I don't mind helping out, though. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you should have a discussion with Aki later. Nope. We're good. Carry on. Insight. Likewise. Mm. <laughs> Holy shit. What did you have to break this? Oh my god. Fucking. Yeah, Havelock, are you good? Are you trying to say something to Aki? You trying to start shit, lad? Yeah. Well, he looks deeply annoyed, wants to get this shit over with. Probably might speak to Aki later. Okay. Yeah, I think, okay. I think when with Aki, with when Havelock sort of snapped at Aki, you, he does look a, he does look more, he 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 does look a bit like cowed and like shrunk a, a bit into himself than he did before. And then, and then yeah, and then, and then uh, yeah, Aki goes just says, um, I, I I don't see a reason for disagreement, but if it's if it would weigh upon your your mind, Havelock, I wouldn't mind a discussion. But not now. Certainly not now. Um, we have we have business, and we, it, it must be concluded. And uh, yeah, and, and Aki does look a bit sort of does now look sheep more, much more sheepish than before, and sort of starts like, and like look, looks more to like look, looks more towards the ground than before. Um, Mev looks at you, Aki, and uh, the the connection clearly hits the the little click. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about him. You're fine. He clearly has something else that he wants to say that he just... <sighs> it's not about this particular situation. It's something else. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mev, all you, uh, all you hear in your mind is just a weary sigh. <sighs> Don't worry. I think you're fine. And and, I can, and 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 then you just say, "Don't worry, I'm trying to be." Then come on, pick your head up, and Mev, um, lightly taps your chin. I like I, I like the idea that Mevela wasn't even like standing next to him; like she fully walked over, like through the middle of everyone, and taps his chin out of nowhere. Yep. Um, okay, this feels like. And then Aki kind of like snaps too because he keeps focusing on the mind theme. Goes and 
and he just looks at you and just and just mouths thank you. She and then, nods. And then, um, yeah, he sort of snaps to and says, uh, r "Right, uh, uh, t t Talaria, to business." And and he'll. Well, start. you heard the lead there. Yeah, but what's my part in all this? I can't exactly fit in there. Ah, you're right. Mm -hmm. But you can walk around, can't you? Yeah. I have a special job for you, then, Curse. And... Mm, she looks at Kinling and Havelock. Could one of you go with him? Awesome. Just want to make sure that no one freaks out, because, you know, Cutters is on his own. I'd like if you surveyed the, um, building, make sure that there isn't any back doors that he could crawl out of. If there isn't, then just stay by the front. Make sure we don't have a runner. I don't think it will escalate to that point. I hope not, but you never know. Does that sound good, Curtis? I guess, yeah. He sort of reaches back and grabs part of the, the trailing chain, so he also, like, tosses it towards Kindling. They don't exactly want me on chain, so... <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get you out of this soon. Good, it's degrading. <laughs> yeah, she nods in acknowledgement, even though she a thousand percent would get a collar for him. A little bow tie, maybe. <laughs> he can match with Dawes. Yep. Alrighty, so I assume you're all heading towards Bulgan's, uh... Bulgan's house. Yep. Let's go, Bulgan. Uh, once we get close enough, like maybe within 20 feet, Havlock's gonna put a uh, hand on Mev's shoulder and cast invisibility on himself. Nice. Wait, so they're both invisible? No, just him, I think. So why is he yeah. putting a hand on Mev's shoulder? So that she knows where he is. Oh, uh, okay, fair enough. Alright. So. You... So first, most Kindling and Kurz have a quick survey of the hut. There is a back door. Oh, gotta but, keep your eye on that thing. Yeah. But that's the only... That's the only one that's there. You get back around to the front, killing and Kurz make it clear about the uh, the additional way out. Yep, then they'll be watching the back door. Okay, so killing and Kurz head around to the, uh, the back of the house, and the rest of you walk on in. Uh, the interior is still the same, though now you can see Borgen is actively working on something, moving a lot of vials here and there. Um... <laughs> He sort of, he seems to like glance to the side and spot you, but continues working for a little bit until he finishes what appears to be one of the steps before placing it gently on one of the, the vial holders. All oh, right, you guys, um, troll blur, huh? That's right. Right, uh, um, how many was it? I know one of them was, uh, Using the bad uh, please blood. tell me you have that because we it, it was like a whole 10 to 20 minutes of discussing what we get and what he gets hold on um shit I don't think I have that I don't have that sorry okay um why don't you have that okay what about so... you what about you Kim Ling you're typically good with the note taking I know, at the very least, 
Hold on. Has it a guess? It would have been around. I'm just looking at older sessions. Probably around I'm, session sorry. 48. So maybe about five or so sessions back. Um, I believe that we had. Because we had 12 in total, and then we had about um, fucking seven that were usable. He could make two big ones, and the rest would have to be small potions, but he got to keep um, half. I think it was a case of so, he, could, he could make... Um... You can make one big one and two of the smaller ones, but the smaller ones will have side effects. That's it, yeah. Because he had the he had enough to make essentially double that, but you agreed to let him have half. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we should be getting two of the small ones, one big one. Um. I would just check back with our videos, but Tom is not up to date with our videos. <clears throat> it's okay. Uh, if I find out later that it was wrong, I can fix it. Yeah, if if it's wrong, we can wreck on it. Yep. Because we know you're getting something. It's just however much. Uh, right. Just need to quickly check to make sure that they don't have any additional other names, which they don't. So... Good. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, if I remember correctly, it was, uh, uh, this one just pulls out a, um, almost sort of pinkish vial. Um, very ornate, actually. It's like an inverted teardrop with the stopper on the, um, on the fixed side of things. Nice. Um, and then he has two which are more regular vials, but still have that sort of, like, pinkish shoe. Right, here you go, it's uh, this one. So mark down one of you that you have got a greater potion of troll blood. I'll do that. I, I marked them all okay. already. And two regular potions of troll blood. Yep, got it. Be very careful with those two, alright? They're gonna have side effects. So... Only break glass in case of an emergency. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. All right. Uh, what kind of side effects? Uh, how best to word this? Mutations, basically, temporary mutations. But uh, it's hard to really say. Troll blood is unpredictable. And under no circumstances do you drink it when you're healthy. Right. No. Nods. Definitely not thinking of Havelock. Um. <laughs> Duly noted, thank you. Um, we'll use these only when purely necessary. Thank you. Uh. Enjoy yours, too. However you're working them. Well, I haven't thought of anything for it yet, but I'll think of something. Yeah, Mev nods. Um, yeah, because we already paid for everything, and he gave yeah. us an extra potion. Yeah, which um, I think he gave you early, uh, in advance anyway. Yes, he did. Um, the, it's, it's on my sheet, which is mm -hmm. why I remember. Um, she looks to Aki because their stuff is in hand now, and she, she looks back at him. His name starts with a B. Bulgan. <laughs> Bulgan. Um, you know, uh, Bulgan. Hmm. I uh, was wondering something. Um. She gestures to his tattoo. That looks kind of familiar. 
Aki, you watch as Vulcan visibly freezes. Where'd you get that? Uh... Something from before. Before? Before I came here. She nods. It, um... It reminds me of this woman I know. Alara. That's her name. Make an insight check. Insight. And what's your passive perception, Mev? Uh, 13. 13, okay. I'm going to insight as well. Alright. One is there. Uh, Insigit. One is. Okay. Um, so yeah, with... Because I don't think any... Oh no, of course. Aki, passive perception, that's it. He sort of watches yeah. he's just staring as his hands slowly reaching up for a rectangular object. Like, very slowly. Um, can, I, can I see what the object is? You just see it's a rectangular object. It's... You, there's no particular markings on it. Although it looks like it's, it's you do notice that it's not like a single; it's like multiple. It almost looks like a deck of cards. Right. Uh, I'll I'll use my. Uh, I said I was going to ready. If I see him go for anything, I'll cast whole person. I'm going to cast whole person on him. Okay. Uh, what's the DC for that? Uh, it would be a DC. It's sixteen, I think, because it's ten plus my. Uh, casting modifier, which is six, which is five. Uh, Wait, what? How do you calculate DC again? Well, it should say what the DC is on. Uh... Yeah, it's a spell save DC is sixteen. Okay, uh, and that's a what save do they have to make? Wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. Natural twenty. Fuck. All right. Hopefully he doesn't notice. Uh, he very much does notice, given that you have to make uh, you know, various verbal and yeah. things. So you just you you watch as like the spell to like it tries. He like freezes up for a bit, and they very quick like grabs hold of the uh, what looks to be the deck of cards. What are you guys doing? You guys got. A very small amount of time. Um, Mev will try to take the cards from him psionically. Okay, so you're essentially you're, you're essentially doing like a telekinetic shove on the item specifically. Yes. Okay, uh, we'll make this a strength contest then. Strength contest. Or whatever, because it because with the, the shove, does it say like what kind of save that they have to make? Um, that's if I shove a creature, not an object. Yeah, but I just want to see, but like, what it does say it. strength saving throw. Okay, you know, um, we'll, ju we'll just go with a strength saving throw for him. And okay. just apply it to that. So, what's the, what would the DC be? That is... It's cocked. Ooh, if only that wasn't cocked. Uh, 13? Yeah, he rolled a 7 total. All right. So you see, so like reaches towards one of the cards, and it just flies. It just get flies out of his hands. The cards just start going everywhere. Uh, yeah. Um. Doing? If nothing happens, Mev leans on the table. Now I don't want to cause trouble, but I would like some answers. Make an intimidation check with advantage. Intimidation. Fucking bullet. Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Mev has turned into a completely different person. Aki, you recognize this? This is the same kind of sharp cunning that happened when she went into the woods with Fur. 
Oh boy, okay. You can see him sort of look, you know, back deeper into the house. I'm back. Thank you. Would you like to sit down, go somewhere more comfortable? I or will. Should we be here? I will stand. Thank you very much. She nods. All right. Well, should tell you first that we are um, enemies of Alara's. Indeed, and so be not be be not afraid. We would not. Whatever oh no, be afraid, depending on your answers. <laughs> <laughs> Mev smiles. We encountered her in Lenarch. She was experimenting on some sort of dragon's blood. Mm. Killed people. Lots of people. We managed to put her away with the help of an archmage, but we never got answers as to what kind of organization she was for. And from what I hear, she's causing problems again. Obviously, you haven't been there in a few years, but... Can you tell me what we're dealing with? Can you tell me which group you represent? We, We're the Talaria. Indeed. She we, shrugs. We represent ourselves. Come to crap. So, if you want some sort of organization, we're simple adventurers, but we have been assisting the Republic. Doesn't mean we're going to turn you in or we have any real effect. I'm a pirate. I've, I'm, I've, I'm, I'm from all the way from Nazareth. I have no skin in the Zamanian game. Point is, we're not really allied, but we've got friends in high places. I assume you mean the Accord. Is that what it was called? The Iun Accord, yeah. Yeah, Mev nods. Yes. Because they would make their move. You made a grave mistake, you know. Letting Alara live. Have we? Can you tell us why? Because the spider's eye do not like threats, and will do everything to eliminate them. If Alara has gotten out of her jail, which I assume means that she was given her means of escape. You'll seek to silence that threat. You think she's going to come after us? Not immediately. She'll bide her time, find more about you, and then, when she's sure... It was like this when she was younger, too. Trust me. You've made a powerful enemy. Is that why you're here? I'm delaying the inevitable. When the spider's eye find me again. Yeah, Mev raises a brow. You think you're going to die? I will die. What about the people here? I'm not going to put them at risk. The second I'm sure I've been found, I'm leaving. 
But then it might be too late. We snuck up on you. Which means I need to be more vigilant. Which means you need to not be cocky. Anyone can sneak up on you, just like we did. And if you fuck around like this, innocent people are going to be killed, aren't they? The spider's eyes got no interest in the innocents. They care about one thing only, and that's the destruction of the Iona Accord and their allies. I don't think that changes what I said. I saw what Alara did to people. She doesn't mind casualties. <sighs> Why don't you start from the beginning? What were the events that led you to here, and what exactly is the spider's eye? What's their purpose? I don't know the full timeline, since it begins with Jiraiya. He does not mention much about himself. I haven't even spoken with him directly. He trusts few, and even less of them have seen him. So. Jiraiya is the guy that they banished, didn't they? Yep. And they weren't sure if he was even still alive, was he? Nope. All they said is that they had put it in a way that he couldn't make use of his magical abilities. Alright. Um, I hope that you're writing this all down, Ed. I am, don't worry. This, this will be very, very important information. They did not have a status on Jiraiya before. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So... Yep, continue. Many of us looked up to the Accord. We felt that they were the pinnacle of magic. And we all had our favorites. Some people liked the, for lack of a better word, the knack that others had for their skills. For me, it was Jiraiya in his cunning. And so, when he fell ill of the Accord, we were left leaderless, essentially. And a few years ago, we got word that Jiraiya had returned. Abandoned. So, despite their Zion is a splinter. Yes. Originally, he had told us that it was simply a rival organization to the Accord. Less restrictive, less bureaucracy, more independent. You got many of us, found those of us that had various talents and skills, and nurtured them. He so like rubs his tattoo. The mark was meant to signify our allegiance since many people have tattoos. Why would they question one such as this? The reason why I left was because I didn't agree with what Jiraiya wanted to do. He didn't want to just be a rival to the Accord. He wanted to utterly destroy it. The man is hell-bent on vengeance for what they did to him. And while I agree that the tales of what they did is horrible, the complete destruction of the very foundation of magical studies in the Republic? That's a step too far. But I was too deep in the game. While I wasn't part of the inner circle, I was considered a skilled member and knew too much. Luckily for me, my expertise is in illusionary arts. So it was rather easy to flip away and 
mislead my enemies. Clearly I've gotten a bit rusty in the years I've been though. And it sort of indicates towards the cards. Yeah, Mev nods. And slowly picked up your alchemical skills as well. Well, I needed a new hobby. I wasn't exactly going to freeload here in Refrain. I simply told them that I was running from something and they welcomed me with open arms. Yes, they're, they're a kind, they're, they're a kind source, the Mer Meridon. Sparing those they can from the torment of the death. You weren't part of the inner circle, but you knew things. If you're expecting me to spill every little secret about the spider's eye, I'm afraid to tell you that I don't know many of those secrets. I don't know how many members, I don't know many of the inner circle, and as I say, barring the time Jirai had first returned back, I've never seen him since. All right. Then, here's a couple of questions. Can Jiraiya use magic? Yes. That's important. Yeah, writing it down. Yep. Um, do you know Alara's intentions? I know what she specialized in transfusion essentially a form of alteration yeah she nods um what was the dragon that they were experimenting with is it what olivia was experimenting with yeah olivia yeah olivia was experimenting to deal with easily the lungs vein yes um, okay. Do you know if their plans had anything to do with Easily? No. We. The entire point of the Spider's Eye was to do with the Iona Cord. Easily was never a factor in it. You don't think they'd use something like that to get rid of it? Would be too risky bring the spider's eye out into the open and they don't exactly want to do that before the accord is destroyed well yes but if you think about the destruction of the soul this of the main administrative body for all magical arts in the republic that is a that is a yawning chasm of a of a power vacuum that the spider's eye would be quick to fill and by and by defeating the great easily they would win the people over and not question the methods of their rise. I think easily it's already defeated. I think they're bringing back please. No, so easily this that's kind of what it seemed like no, 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 with no, the research that was going on. Easily is still well, well, alive. The research, the research Olivia was doing, she was trying oh, to figure okay. out a, a poison using try, she was trying to find a poison that could be used to kill so easily. She's not dead. Stone He's dead. just not active right now. Yeah, yeah. she was she was she was fended right. off in the day of sky. And while she's attacked areas around her uh, her domain, yeah, she's very much alive. And also, then uh, fucking Alara was doing something a little similar. Alara, but... it seems, based on the um, like what you saw in her book, it essentially yeah. seems like she hijacked Olivia's uh, research yeah. for her own gains. Yep, so we don't quite know what she's doing, but we do know that Olivia, at the very least, was dealing with drag stuff. Yes, yeah. Alright, so I was mostly correct. I was just presuming that Easily was fucking dead already. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, Mev, Nons. What do you think... What lengths do you think the spider's eye are willing to go? As far as it needs to. That worries me. 
When I say destroy the Iron Accord, I don't mean simply like a bunch of traders outperforming each other. He wants them dead. The Accord knows this. Yeah. She thinks just kind of taking in this kind of information. Yeah. Has already been said? Has has he already said how long he's sort of been on the run for? Well, we know at the very least that he's been in the Muradon for what, six to eight years? Give or take. Yeah. Um Meb will ask that next then. How long have you been running? Eight years. Two okay. for Alcohol Mordak and the rest here. Yeah, she nons. And in all those eight six years you've been living in Rephrin, are we the first folk to know your to have an inkling as to your your origin? Outside of physically running into me, I took every precaution to avoid it. He sort of like pulls out a small necklace. That sort of that um it's almost like a sort of an opal surrounded by um like a wooden knot. Yeah, what is that, that? I presume that masks your I presume that masks you from any magics that may detect your presence. Scrying and sending do not work so long as I wear this necklace. Excellent. She gestures to the tattoo. What about that glaring mark? You can't take it off? I can, but it's... It reminds me of the mistake I made. She stands up straight. A reminder of your guilt won't help the people here. Whether I have the mark or not, it doesn't matter. I know what I look like. I know who I am. Mark or no, they'd be able to identify me. Her eyes narrow. I wouldn't have even known who you were if you didn't have that mark. They might be able to identify you, but other people that could come after you? Enemies of the Spider's Eye or allies? They know Indeed. because of it. And for your own safety at the moment, comes the chance where someone with meek even closer ties to the Iron Accord than us sees a potential enemy among among this number, how do you think they would react? I will then do what they wish. If they think me a threat, then I will accept what they do to me. Mev scowls. Even if what they will do could potentially be the destruction of the Muradon. And he doesn't seem to respond. You've accepted your fate. That's fine. What we're saying is that you, with that kind of acceptance, that kind of blaseness, doesn't just affect you. Then what do I need to pay for your silence? You're not getting it. You don't need to pay us anything. You need to either do a better job of hiding, as in getting rid of that tattoo and fuck you're good at magic, getting a new face. Or you need to find somewhere else. 
I think it's unfair that you can't have a home if you don't do that. But I also think it's unfair to put innocent people, children, at risk for something that they don't even know you're a part of. At the very least, you could have told the council so that they knew what to look out for. I figured it's better. The less people involved in the spider's eye, the less chance there is that the spider's eye would go after them. As I say, they only care about the Iun Accord. Sure, if collateral damage happens, it happens. They're not going to go for innocent civilians just for the sake of it. They go for threats and nothing more. They'll go for people who protect you. Indeed, how high, how high a crime do you think they would they they would count harboring a known enemy of the of the spider's eye? It may not be convenient. Maybe they'll even try to kill you in your sleep. But what if you ran out, got caught by someone else? Indeed. They figure out that you're being attacked. <laughs> you're very calm about this, but you're saying if casualties happen, they happen with the spider's eye. Are you okay with that too? If the spider's eye were to come here tomorrow, say that they know me, and that they have come to claim me, I would not let Refram put themselves at risk, no matter how much they say. I would surrender myself willingly to the spider's eye and accept their punishment. Ensure that... Talus and the council are aware of that. That you intend for them to be faced, faced, to be placed as far away as from harms, from harm as possible. They, if they see anyone of their number being dragged away, she naturally holds up a hand to Aki. Sorry, I don't think it matters, because if he wanted to tell anyone, he would have. I just hope no one jumps in the way of you despite it. I'll do everything she... I could to make sure that doesn't happen. If you were doing everything you could, you would have done better already. <sighs> I have one last question. Do you know where there are hubs of the spider's eye? We don't have a permanent headquarters. You move about then, you're nomadic? We're not powerful enough to stay in one place. If we were found out, and we would be, the Accord would make sure the full might of the Republic fell on them. But we work in small groups, occasionally meeting up at random locations, discussing what we have achieved and how we can use it against the Accord. Then do you know if there's any signs of that? People have... Thieves can't or sigils that they use. Besides the spider tattoo, what do you all look out for? We are sent instructions by the higher-ups of the spider's eye, magically told where to go. Obviously, I have not heard such things ever since, and he just sort of, like, tugs at the, the string on the necklace. Yeah. She nods. Alright. Aki? Yes? Do you have anything else to say? No. Just...
just ensure that when the time comes for you to atone for your past mistakes, that others are not punished alongside you. And is that clear? Crystal. I have no more to say. Then I have one thing to say to the rest of you. If you did not kill Lara, you are now considered a threat by the spider's eye. Anyone who has interacted with her is now at risk if they worked with you. I would be very careful, and I'd make sure the people who work alongside you are told to be careful. Yeah, Mev's eyes narrow at him. Like, that's fucking rich coming from you. And she nods. Yeah, Aki isn't thinking like that. He's just, he just sort of, like, takes in the gravity of the situation. And then, understood, yes. Mev gets the gravity, but she's fucking pissed at this guy. I would say he probably noticed. He rolled a 15 on insight. Oh yeah, Mev's not being subtle about it. Fucking. Her face is written with you fucking hypocrite. But yeah, she walks out. Uh, Aki will follow suit. Hold on, give me two seconds, I need to catch up on notes. That is perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Take five? That kind of thing? Yeah, we can get a small break. Uh, I, I mean, I'll, I'll be done in like a minute. That's fine, we- I, I still kind of want to talk about what the fuck just happened. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Okay, uh, if that's the case, we'll take a small, small ten minute break then. Fucking 